details still coming in on this developing story in the town of Arras in northern France. For more, let's speak to James Vecina. Hello to you, uh, James. A lot of this unfolding in the past few minutes, so obviously we'll update the story as the details come in. But what can you tell us? What do we know at this point? Well, it's exactly that. These are very uh, early uh, moments for now. What we do know, so one teacher killed, uh, several other people wounded, perhaps two. What we do know is that one of those people was a security agent uh, at the school. He was stabbed uh, several times. Uh, the question, of course, one of the first questions going to come into mind is what was the attacker's relation to the school? Was he a former student or not? We know he's been arrested. This was confirmed uh, by officials here in France. Uh, we've heard that his brother has also uh, been arrested. Um, who was he? We know that he was uh, Fiche S, as we say in French, which, which is when you put on the National Security Register, uh, which is when you've been uh, notified for radicalization. Uh, and we know that he did shout Allah Wakbar then uh, during uh, that attack. This coming uh, from a police source. This is what we know for now. We know that the president, then Emmanuel Macron, is on his way uh, to the town in the north of France, uh, as, of course, this is of a huge, huge, huge importance. Uh, but for now, the investigation has been opened. We'll see how that goes. Uh, and most importantly, Importantly, the situation has been contained. So apparently this, there is no longer an immediate threat in and around the school. Yeah, and, and that's going to provide some comfort to the residents. But nonetheless, attacks like this in France are rare, aren't they? Rare, but they're on our minds because obviously the first thing that comes to mind is that in just a few days' time, it'll be three years since the death of Samuel Petty. He was a, a teacher just outside, uh, not too far away from here in the west of Paris, uh, who was killed uh, outside his school just three years ago. This also uh, by a radicalised person. Uh, and so homages were uh, planned, are, are planned for him uh, on Monday. That was an event that shocked everyone. Uh, of course, it was came coming out of nowhere. The reason for that supposed, well, the, the justification from the attacker, uh, from what we understand, was because he'd drawn, uh, uh, he'd shown cartoons of Prophet Muhammad. Uh, this, of course, after that reunited a huge debate over the freedom of speech that we should be able to have uh, in schools. Uh, and this has been the discussion, of course, ever since. And it doesn't feel like that long ago, because an attack like this in a school uh, is something that is shocking for everyone. But it it's shocking. shakes the country. It shakes the country. And of course, these are young people around. It's not the kind of place where you'd expect something to unfold. It's supposed to be a safe space. Um, France, France's schools haven't been shown in the best of lights. It's a different issue recently, but there's been a lot of talks of harassment of pupils' uh, suicide uh, due to harassment here in France. So it's not been the best of uh, press, let's say, for French schools. And the priority is definitely going to be to bring about that safe space once again so that students can feel uh, like they're in a, a comfortable situation. Indeed. And James, you'll be back in a moment's time when we have an update on that situation in Arras. Thank you very much, James.